Saudi Arabia is initiating a groundbreaking endeavor to construct the largest artificial river in the world, dwarfing the Nile in both ambition and scale. Spanning more than 12,000 kilometers through its arid deserts, this massive project is not merely about building the longest underground canal. It represents a transformative effort to turn desolate sands into arable land, utilizing cutting-edge desalination technology. With an unparalleled scope and a significant investment, the project highlights the nation's determination to address its acute water shortages by turning seawater into freshwater. This artificial river aims to redefine agriculture and sustainability in one of the world's most water-scarce regions, with ambitions to irrigate extensive desert areas. Saudi Arabia seeks to fulfill its water and agricultural necessities while establishing a new global standard in environmental innovation. Could this ambitious endeavor transform the desert kingdom into a verdant hub of greenery and sustainability? And how will they accomplish this? Over recent decades, Saudi Arabia's approach to water management has evolved dramatically initially dependent on local renewable water sources for small-scale agriculture and domestic use the kingdom shifted to rely on desalinated seawater and ancient underground fossil water this significant transition enabled saudi arabia to support large-scale agriculture and meet the water demands of urban and industrial areas treating water as a readily available resource however excessive use particularly in agriculture led to the rapid depletion of non-renewable groundwater reserves. By 1995, the kingdom began to reassess its water usage policies, introducing charges for domestic water use and seeking private sector involvement in water infrastructure development and management. Efforts to conserve water, such as the adoption of drip irrigation and moisture sensors, have been implemented to reduce agricultural water consumption. The shift away from water-intensive crops like wheat, which ceased by 2016, reflects a broader strategy to conserve water resources. With no natural rivers and an economy traditionally reliant on oil and desalination for water, Saudi Arabia is navigating towards more sustainable and stable water and economic solutions through this visionary artificial river project. Saudi Arabia is set to launch an ambitious initiative that promises to revolutionize agriculture and water resource management in areas needing assistance. This pioneering venture will see the construction of the largest artificial river globally, a project bold in its reach and innovative in method. It's anticipated to yield around 9.4 million cubic meters of water daily thanks to advanced desalination techniques. Originating from the Red Sea, it will transform saline water into a vital fresh supply. Engineered to run underground to curb evaporation, a key factor given the harsh desert climate, its dimensions are carefully planned to guarantee consistent delivery across the nation, even to the most needy areas. This initiative represents a significant stride towards self-reliance in agriculture within a region previously thought unsuitable for such ambitions. By introducing a stable and sustainable water source, Saudi Arabia seeks to green its barren expanses, lessening its reliance on imported food and moving its economy beyond oil dependency. At 11 meters wide and 4 meters deep, the artificial channel is set to eclipse the iconic Nile River in terms of size. The inclusion of specialized anti-corrosion pipes, 2.25 meters in diameter, will enable the transportation of fresh water over great distances, further underscoring the project's grand vision. This engineering marvel aims not only to introduce a new water source, but also to reimagine the entire water supply system on an unmatched scale. The pipeline, if extended end-to-end, -end, could wrap around the globe several times. Central to this project are desalination processes, including membrane and thermal desalination, each bringing its own efficiency to the venture. Membrane desalination, pushing seawater through filters to separate salts and impurities, offers a highly efficient and cooler operation option. 
Conversely, thermal desalination, which involves heating and evaporating seawater, although more energy intensive, proves reliable and effective, particularly in energy rich areas. The Saline Water Conversion Corporation, SWCC, a governmental body, plays a crucial role in overseeing desalinated water production nationwide, ensuring an ample supply to meet the needs of its burgeoning population and industries. Operating numerous desalination plants along the eastern coast and other areas, Saudi Arabia leads globally in desalinated water production with an annual output exceeding 1.6 billion cubic meters, accounting for 18% of the global total. This considerable volume is vital for sustaining life and economic activities in a land devoid of natural freshwater resources. The desalination plants not only supply water but also generate significant electrical energy demonstrating Saudi Arabia's comprehensive approach to meeting its water and energy demands. Despite the relative ease of importing water, the kingdom faces the challenge of over-relying on oil, a vulnerability given the fluctuating oil prices and the global shift towards renewable energies. In response, Saudi Arabia is diversifying its economy, reducing oil dependence, and aiming for a more sustainable future through this vast, technologically sophisticated water resource management project. This artificial river project is not just about addressing water scarcity. It lays the foundation for agricultural development and economic diversification aspiring to turn a desert realm into a land marked by one of humanity's longest rivers, a vision as bold as it is inspirational. Now, if you like this video, check out this next video right here.